Tyler here with GP Knives, and we're back again today with the Wii Knives Wisp. This is a titanium frame lock flipper with a blade made from CPM S35VN. It's going to offer the same kind of performance in terms of edge retention and corrosion resistance as CPM S30V with enhanced toughness. It's got a shallow hollow grind and a very thin blade stock that is going to allow for excellent slicing performance and a nearly full length swedge along the top that ends in a very fine point for piercing tasks and detail work. The blade rides on a ceramic ball bearing pivot and as you can see deploys via the index flipper fast and smooth. The flipper is designed with the handle in a way that makes it very decisive in deployment and also very comfortable for those who like to fidget with their knives. Handle scales are made from beefy contoured titanium with a green anodized finish and nice contoured carbon fiber inlays and a carbon fiber backspacer with jimping. So the carbon fiber adds a little bit of style as well as helping to reduce the overall weight. Sub three ounce weight on this making it ideal for everyday carry. And then it does carry via a 3D machined titanium pocket clip that can be reversed for left or right hand tip up only carry. You also have a generous lanyard hole here at the back for the addition of a lanyard for easier draw from the pocket. And construction is completed with blue anodized titanium Torx head hardware. So very easy to adjust and maintain this knife thanks to that switch to Torx hardware. You can also see this piece of hardware right here. And if we take a closer look, you can see that this is an over travel preventer as well as a hardened steel lock face insert for that titanium frame lock. So very smooth operation on that titanium frame lock. Take a quick look at this with a couple of other knives. We have the Zero Tolerance 0450, and this is a custom anodized titanium version. So you can see these knives are fairly similar in the overall size. You're gonna get a very similar blade length, just a little bit shorter on the wisp, but it does have that fully functional index finger choil that allows you to choke up on the blade for detail work. Where you're really gonna notice a difference here is in the grinds and in the thickness. So you can see that the wisp is quite a bit thinner than the 0450. And with that shallow hollow grind versus the saber grind on the 450, you're going to get a much finer edge for enhanced slicing performance. Functional grip area on these two is gonna be very similar, a little more neutral handle design on the Wisp. So it is gonna be comfortable in multiple positions, whereas with the dedicated index finger area and the lip at the back, this may not be comfortable for all hand sizes. You can also see the difference here. The Wisp has a little bit thicker titanium and not a complete open back construction, but mostly with just this partial backspacer at the rear. So close in thickness, but the Wisp is a little bit thicker while still maintaining a very low carry weight. And for another quick comparison, just in the blade thickness, I've got the Wisp here on the right with the Delica 4 Warncliffe on the left. So you can see even thinner than the Delica. And then I'm going to bring in the Spyderco Chaparral, one of the thinnest production knives that I've seen. And you can see very comparable in the blade thickness here. So you're going to get a very high level of cutting performance thanks to that thin stock. And here you can see the Wisp in my pocket. Thanks to the sub three ounce weight and slim and contoured design, it carries very well in the pocket. The 3D machine titanium pocket clip does draw the eye somewhat with the bright blue hardware and anodized color, but does put most of the knife below the line of the pocket for relatively discreet carry. The knife draws smoothly from the pocket and is fast and smooth for deployment thanks to the ceramic bearing pivot. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives and the Wii Knives Wisp, a CPM S35EN titanium frame lock flipper. You can check it out now at gpknives.com. Thanks for watching and stay sharp.
If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel, like the video below, and click the icon at the bottom right hand corner to subscribe to our YouTube channel feed for updates on all new videos.